So we come to last type, type C type of a redox reaction. Type C type of a redox reaction, you can remember they are nothing but disproportionation. disproportionation. In disproportionation, how are you supposed to deal with such type of reactions? First, you know what is disproportionation? Chlorine is in zero oxidation state, it is minus one and chlorine is plus five. That means at one place it is getting a reduced reduction, at the other place it is getting oxidized. If the same element is getting oxidized and reduced in the products, such a type of reaction is called as disproportionation. All other right elements, their oxidation state remains same. Now, how you are supposed to deal with such type of a reaction? Again, the dealing is similar to what we dealt in type B. What we do? We write down chlorine two times. Can we write down a reactant two times? Answer is yes. If you know what is the reactant here, it is NUH plus chlorine. What is the reactant here? It is NUH and chlorine. So somebody asks you to do this reaction, what you will do? You will take NUH and you will mix with chlorine. And somebody asks you to do this reaction, what you will do? You will again mix NUH and chlorine only. So both of them are same. But what is the logic? This and this balancing, we keep them together. So they go hand in hand with that balancing and this balancing and this balancing we keep them together. So this two balancing we keep them together. Remember that. Now what next? So we write down the reaction one more time. NUH plus chlorine plus chlorine gives you NaCl plus NaClO3 plus H2O. What we do next? This chlorine is going from 0 to minus 1. So, changes by factor of for 1 chlorine it is 1 but we are dealing with 1 Cl2. So, the factor is 2. Now, similarly, if you see chlorine going from 0 to plus 5 so increase by 5. So for 1 chlorine, it is 5. So for 1 Cl2, it is 10. Then what we do? We multiply by a number. So that total exchange of electron remains same. It exchanges 2 electron. It exchanges 10. So what we do? We multiply by a number. We cross multiply. So what is the number here you will get? Number will be 10 number will be 2. So one place number is 10, other place number is 2. So 10, so total number of chlorine are 20. So total number of chlorine here also should be the same, 20. Number of chlorine here are 4, so number of chlorine here also should be same, 4. Remember this balancing goes with this balancing. If you have seen me properly, I would have taken care of that balancing. And this balancing goes with this balancing. If you have taken care, you would have seen I have taken care. What next? So you have to balance other elements too. So we know the sodium at this place. 20 plus 4. 24. So 24 sodium will be present. So sodium also balance. Now you are left with balancing hydrogen. How many hydrogen here? 24. So there should be 24 hydrogen here too. So 24 if you multiply. Everything has got balance. So what we do next is we rewrite the reaction. So 24 NaOH plus this 12 chlorine is going to give you 20 NaCl plus 5. 4 NaClO3 plus 12 H2O. Now, we realize there is a common term 4 which can be removed so that the reaction can be simplified. 
So, if you divide the entire by 4 as a number, you will get what? You will get 6 any which and you are dividing it by 4, so you will get 3 chlorine, 5 NaCl and 1 NaClO3 and 3 H2O. This is what you will get. If you want, you can verify also. 6 sodium, 6 sodium. If you check chlorine, 6 chlorine and you will get 5 here and 1 here, 6 chlorine. Chlorine to balanced. Hydrogen if you check, 6. 6 hydrogen. If you check oxygen, how many oxygen here? Number of oxygen are 6. Here number of oxygen are 3 and number of oxygen here are 3. So total number of oxygen are 6. So it is balanced. This proportionation reaction, the trick is the element or the substance which undergoes this proportionation you have to write down twice and then use the same logic of type A and you will get the answer.